The Apple Watch has set itself up as a gold standard for wearable tech, and with the announcement of the Series 8, Apple Watch Ultra, and updated Apple Watch SE last fall, the trend continues. Each new model supports more robust health tracking features to help you decide which Apple Watch is the right fit for you. In today's video, we will be sharing which one is best Apple Watch of 2023. So stay tuned till end of the video and don't miss any of these. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you've never missed any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 3. Apple Watch Ultra The Apple Watch Ultra is a very good smartwatch. It's got loads of features, very long battery life, a titanium shell, and a distinctive design. The Apple Watch Ultra doesn't reinvent the wheel, but Apple has made its best sports watch yet. Features like the action button and the better battery life make this a contender for athletes in a way Apple never has been before. However, the Ultra might be too big for potato wrists and it's expensive. The Apple Watch Ultra is Apple's first real stab at an adventure watch. It's got a durable design, a huge 49mm display, an action button, and a host of outdoor sports features to make the watch feel at home on the wrist of a runner, hiker, or Ironman. With 60 hours of battery life, it also has the stamina to keep up, something that's been missing from the best Apple Watches for the past few years. The first thing you'll notice about the Apple Watch Ultra is its size. It's huge on the wrist and measures 49 millimeters. It's considerably larger than the 41 millimeters and the 45 millimeters displays of the Apple Watch Series 8. And whether that's a good or bad thing depends on your personal preferences. The digital crown is larger and has deeper grooves and melds with the side button in a protruding ledge on the right side of the device. This supposedly makes the buttons easier to use while wearing gloves. On the left side of the Apple Watch Ultra is an added action button, which can be programmed as a quick launch for an assigned purpose. Above the new button is a visible speaker grill, which serves two purposes. It improves sound quality on phone calls, even in windy conditions, and it blasts an emergency siren of 86 decibels, letting your alert be heard up to 180 meters away. Like the Apple Watch Series 8, the Apple Watch Ultra has a skin temperature sensor and crash detection, but there are a host of other features designed to make the watch more suited for adventure. Let's start with the revamped Compass app, which makes the Apple Watch Ultra a more capable navigation accessory. It lets you save waypoints or specific markers when you're somewhere you want flag. There's also a trackback feature that helps you retrace your steps, say, if you're lost. The Ultra also has clever features like Precision Start, which allows you to bypass the 3, 2, 1 countdown sequence when starting an activity, and wait until you know the watch has found GPS signal. Number 2. Apple Watch SE If you know you want a new Apple Watch, the Watch SE is the one to go for. It's got all the useful features of the Watch 6, but it's much cheaper and thus one of the best smartwatches around. The always-on display is sorely missing, but the fitness tracking, including motivating nudges to keep you active, is as good as ever and will improve when Fitness Plus lands. However, the Watch SE comes with the same issues as the rest of the Apple Watch line. Some features in apps are too lightweight, and the battery life is just too short to get the best out of the watch. The design of the Apple Watch SE is as familiar as you can get, the same curb edges, rounded aluminum chassis, and digital crown on the side. If you had an Apple Watch before, or just admired the devices and aspired to owning one, there's nothing new here. Along with the Apple Watch 6, it's also a larger Apple Watch, coming with a wider display and offered in 40mm and 44mm sizes. The display is also familiar, in terms of sharpness and resolution. Thanks to OLED technology, it's clear, bright, and easy to read in any situation. This is Apple at its best. Where the Apple Watch excels is that it's probably the best extension of a phone onto a wrist of any smartwatch out there. Alarms sync across flawlessly. Your data is shared between apps instantly. The integration into Apple's ecosystem is immense. But while many of the Watch SE features are smaller versions of those on the iPhone, when it comes to fitness, the Apple Watch steps up well. The list of exercises that can be tracked in the default workout app is growing all the time. However, when it comes to battery life, Apple still has some hard yards to make up. Having a smartwatch that only lasts a day and a half isn't good enough in 2020, especially now that Apple has deployed sleep tracking on the Watch SE. While the battery life is good in terms of the Apple Watch range, and thanks to the lack of an always-on display and an efficient chip at the heart, 
the best we've seen from Apple. Compared to the rest of the market, it's sorely lacking. Number 1. Apple Watch Series 8 The Apple Watch Series 8 gets a skin temperature reader, low power mode and crash detection to make the best smartwatch around a tick better. But the design and watch OS 9 are what really makes Series 8 shine. The new watch has the long-rumored skin temperature sensor and long-awaited low power mode, which can extend the latest Apple Watch's battery life to 36 hours. The Apple Watch 8 also has a new crash detection feature, leveraging improved motion sensors for instant help when you might need it most. It's almost impossible to tell the Apple Watch 8 vs Apple Watch 7 apart, with the new smartwatch sporting the curvier chassis and thinner display bezels that debuted last year. This screen, which is 20% larger than the Apple Watch Series 6, is optimized for features like always-on display, the new watch OS 9 faces, and a QWERT like keyboard for sending messages. On the side of the Apple Watch Series 8 you'll find the familiar digital crown and side button, which are used in hand with the touchscreen to navigate the device. While it would be neat if it got an action button on the side like the Apple Watch Ultra, the Apple Watch Series 8's design is still plenty intuitive. Crash detection isn't a new Apple Watch Series 8 feature I hope anyone ever has to test, but regrettably car accidents happen. Apple Watch has had fall detection and emergency SOS features for some time, but crash detection is a new kind of safety tool made possible by upgraded motion sensors in Series 8. The Apple Watch Series 8 features two new motion sensors inside, plus an improved gyroscope and accelerometer. These together can sample motion 4x faster than before so the watch will be able to detect a crash precisely as it happens. With normal use, the Apple Watch Series 8 battery life is rated for 18 hours. With low power mode, the watch can last up to 36 hours. Borrowing a handy setting from the iPhone, the Apple Watch's new low power mode will disable certain power draining features, while leaving the device still mostly usable. It's easy to toggle on Apple Watch low power mode from the control center and be prompted on which features become compromised. The siren on the Apple Watch Ultra is 86 decibels loud, as made possible by a new speaker system in the larger watch. All three of Apple's current watches use the same S8 series processor. They also all have the new high accelerometer and improved gyroscope that power Apple's crash detection feature. The Series 8 and Ultra also both have temperature sensors that enable advanced cycle tracking. If you're upgrading from an earlier Apple Watch, you want an always-on display or you want more advanced health tracking, you should consider the Series 8. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Thanks for watching the video.